Hello and welcome. This is Drew Stories, episode 72. Uh, I'm Drew Brooks. This is Adolfo Monroy. Let's just fucking give it a break and just move on. How are you? Doing good, man. Yeah. Um, this episode of uh, Drew Stories uh, powered by Nardo Coffee, hey. everybody. Shout out to Nardo Coffee. Coffee. Sponsoring these uh, cold, cold brew separates mm-hmm. while you wait. Oh, that's good. That's good coffee. That's tasty. It's strong as shit, though. As you can see, I've uh, gone through most of my cup. There right you here. go. That you should, that should give you a Woo! little bit of get up and go. Yeah, for that, sure. Oh, that's the Nardo this. way. Exactly. That's the Nardo way. Um, thank you so much for joining us. If you're uh, here for the first time, hey, jeez, wow. I had no idea you had the courage. <laughs> uh, and if you're returning... <laughs> You must be a glutton for punishment. <laughs> what an idiot. You're back. Oh, my God. Anyway, it's great to be here. It's great to be alive. <laughs> um, a lot of lot of um, panic going on in the U.S. of A. right now. A lot of pandering. But then that's why we bring, we, we bring you solace in a time of great crisis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of which, they got that hurricane, man. Yeah, hurricane. That's hurricane. That's hurricane. Um, the yeah, hurricane's for real, but not for real. I do have family in Florida. I don't know oh. if you know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we also have friends in f- of family and other people too, and humans. <laughs> are they are they like in the part that's going to be heavily uh, uh, hit? What? You know? they, huh? They're going to be, are they part, are they living in uh, the part that's going to be like predominantly hit? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure some parts are going to get harder. Oh, um, like no, the yes, of course, the yeah, coast, that right? was what, that's why I'm a little more chill about it, is because I don't think they're, uh, they're too far out, as far as, to my knowledge, they're not that close, so it, they're okay, and if they do have uh, effects from it, it won't be uh, in the series serious category and that's that's a wild because that shit is like a fucking, I mean, it's a peninsula, right, so that, shit, it looks, I mean, it's not that wide, you know, well, it's, it's not that wide, for what exactly? <laughs> well, because obviously it's a lot of land. What is a lot of land? I guess I'm just saying that's that that's a thing, right? Like if it was a bigger, like a wider state, like a Texas. You <laughs> now know we're what getting I mean? somewhere with you. Yeah, we're we're talking them. We're talking geographicalness. This right is now, perfect. Guys. If you came for an education on geography, <laughs> you're in for a real treat. Um, okay. Anyways, but did you see that clip of Dave Port- Portnoy? He was freaking out. Um, and because he has a home in Miami or some shit, and uh, he started screaming. He's like. What the fuck? Like, I pay millions of dollars for a home here because, and I'm trying to, and I'm saving money because this is I what you consume. Out. This is what you consume. Yeah, Dave Portnoy. Shouts out Dave um, Portnoy. Yeah, man. Well, I think that he's got it probably insurance. So I think he's fine. I think it would suck to see your house get blown away. But other than that, if you own the house, you probably got the insuro. Well, no, he's not even complaining about the money necessarily, but he's like, dude, he's so upset that he's being inconvenienced. Oh, I see. I know. That's what that's what yeah. wealthy people hate. Exactly. Yeah, it's stopping their day to day. You know what I mean? That's Expected. why. That's why they. That's why the extra bonus system came into play. Because like even stream redeemers now know that they have a, if they have a pro setting. Yeah. It's an extra five bucks, but they'll get you in their little web of bullshit, especially with the ads. Because I remember I I was just on one of them that just changed. The app just changed on me. The whole layout of the fucking thing. I had a real nice time with it before, and now it's different. Uh, And I hate change. But I remember um, in there they had free with ads. Mm -hmm. What do you think of free with ads? Free with ads. What do you think of that? Free with ads. Hmm. I mean, pay a little extra, no ads, right? It's fair to say that that's the appropriate business model for streaming platforms nowadays. You know, well, pay to play, baby, pay to play. Depends on what you're doing, right? It depends on what you're doing and how many, right? A quantity is definitely a factor. Yeah, and I feel like they're abusing both of those columns. You know who I'm still going to give it up to that hasn't pulled that shit yet? What's that? It's fucking Ooh. Netflix, dude. Shouts out Netflix. Shout out to Netflix. Still holding it down. You yeah. know they're going to pull the rug. Oh. They're going to pull the rug on, on, but, on anybody. But that's going to fuck them over so big because that's like the one thing that made that has made Netflix really different. Obviously, Hulu from the get-go always been with the ads. If you were on a desert island and you could only have one streaming <laughs> service, 
Well, which one would that be? One oh. streaming service. Don't pull a bundle on me. Don't pull bundle bullshit on me. Oh, man. I, th- I think you know the answer to this, but I'm, I'm going to have to go. Oh, for, because of quality and quantity, I think it's the best one in between. I'm going to say Hulu. Hulu. Okay. Hulu. So you're, you're going, um, what's Hulu? Is that ABC? Hulu is Disney. Bought, is bought by, yes, yeah, Disney. It's Disney. Um, okay. But the other one I would do, though, I mean, because I feel it's like this. You're talking depth of catalog, right? Both, because I oh. think Netflix has the catalog, but the quality of a lot of their shit is, like, not good. <sighs> well, um, that could be said for a lot of streamers. No offense. And the reason you wouldn't go with any of these new bucks, these so-called peacocks and whatnot well there's just no depth to it yet but once they get brewing well there's one that does do that oh, okay what hbo max they got quality but they and d- but they don't have the quantity you'll run through their shit kind of quick because it's you it's really, really will really good programming it's top notch that's what I'm it's saying. probably the best one of the best in the business home box office come on yeah. man <laughs> <laughs> come on baby <laughs> You don't need to sell me on it, bro. Sponsored brother. by HBO Max and Nard- Nardo. Come Coffee. on, baby. <laughs> Give me that HBO uh, Max. Yeah, no, I'm serious. Uh, you, you got you got that right. Um, yeah, I think for me, your your money's well spent there mm-hmm. with Hulu because they've got they've got back back catalog, but Netflix. <laughs> It's good shit on Prime there. Prime is... The, I'll give Prime a bonus because... Ooh. Hear me Honorary out. Honorary mention. Honorary <laughs> mention for its... It's got like a real elderly category, like a, or a elderly it's got back a niche end. category. Well, no, it niche. just has all these older films that like I think nobody watches. So like shorts in there and No, everything. I watch like, like all what? these 70s movies and these Charlie Bronson movies and it, it's really nostalgic and mm. cool and like there's no ads and... Uh, and it's just, I feel like the honorable mention is that they have like a pretty solid 70s catalog that people are really sleeping on. Yeah, shouts out John Krasinski for the his Amazon Prime show, Jack Reacher. Why? Because it's on Amazon Prime. Is it any good? Apparently it is. I've heard. Apparently. Jesus I've heard. Christ, it's been brother. For a few seasons. Why would you shout out one <laughs> something you don't even know? You just know people are in it, I think. <laughs> Guys, you see, advertising caught you for a second. One that I do love on the Amazon Prime Network, uh, Mozart in the Jungle. Uh, with, yeah, that's a that's what one. people. That's what people who listen to NPR would say. Oh, it's so good. That's an NPR answer. It's an NPR type of, of show, huh? Let's try to get funny with uh with some fucking symphony, oh, no. <laughs> motherfuckers, you know. But um, well, let me ask you this. Later on. How, how's the campaign trail? Oh, dude, it was great. Uh, a couple of days ago, we were partnered at party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So hungover from the another party. Another take, please. Cut, <laughs> cut, cut. Action rolling. What? Uh, I was partying at the Grove the other day with uh, our future mayor of L.A. As oh, you he, are one cocky person. Yeah, it's probably right. He's yeah. got enough dough. Um, I had my hand around his frail that's waist. That's what it should be. His campaign sl- slogan should be. Rick Caruso, he's got enough dough. <laughs> yeah, Rick Caruso. <laughs> so, uh, how and and the Grove is is the Grove is fucking packed, and people are still spending money even though the fucking gas is six twenty. Yeah, dude, the gas is six dollars and twenty cents. It went back up, huh? Uh huh. Damn, six dollars and twenty cents. And that's for a bum gas company called USA. Yo, do we got to get Trump back in office or some shit, dude? Which Where's I, my gas? <laughs> yeah, how do we bitch. fix this quickly? Like, I will say, though, isn't that true, though? Isn't it true that like when Republicans are in office, though, gas is like usually lower for some reason? Is that so? I feel it's always been like I a think thing. it's just that you have, you're dealing with the devils, you know? He's got little handshake deals that are like, hey, keep that barrel price down, will you? Dude, I, I don't, don't We don't know. This is out of our, again, out of our depth. Our expertise is this. Do you think he's winning? Do you know if he's winning? Um, I think we're. When's the no- November right? November sixth. November eighth. November eighth. Eighth. Sorry. The problem. The problem is not even. Well, he even said it at the fucking uh the dinner that he had for all of his uh, supporters, volunteers, and workers. Okay. Um, he's like the, the 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 fucking thing right now is not me versus Karen Bass. It's uh-huh. me versus apathetic apathetic voters right now. Wow. People don't wow. care. People don't know. 
You don't now, know many there, there have been a lot of accusations, okay? I just saw the local news and to bring you people oh, into the Scientology this. thing? Let's bring, yeah, I'll bring the people into this. If you don't know, there is a heated mayoral race with two top contenders. Karen Bass is in one corner representing the people's choice, okay? Well, the, the Not the people's choice necessarily, but the, um, the, the com- what's it called, the institution or whatever the leadership's choice probably you know what i mean because she's oh, been, she's she's been, been for 10 years okay so she has more of an endorsement right? well yeah and he's an outsider and he's aka a rich guy a real estate mogul so that being said you have this person who's been in the game longer hasn't done shit. has got endorsed and da 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 but maybe doesn't have a great track record who knows but no nevertheless yeah <laughs> He's saying wild shit about people. And Rick Caruso, the other uh, uh, candidate uh, who we're referring to, who this guy sold out for, sold you down the river, my friend. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't be surprised. No, no, no. I don't don't know. I just know that there is a good chance that in a farm animal, a farm animal, a Take uh, it's, con- it's it's contagious. <laughs> a farm animal could do that job. Yeah, better uh, than what's going on right now. It's a circus, bro. Yeah, man. I, our, people hate Garcetti right now. They're over his shit. I think they're over the just the simple like n- not and putting any f- sort of effort in initiative. Uh, he's kind of just holding it all. Yeah, like to get like him. I don't know. It's weird. Some dude referred to and and <laughs> what's his name? Fucking the guy, the governor, Governor Newsom. Oh yeah, new. He's just slick. New bro. balls, slick. See, he looks slick. That hair of his is yeah, all slick. He's always back. like, "Don't worry, man. I ran ten and a half this morning. I'm feeling bright and early. Had some Nardo coffee. Dude, he you- looks hype, ready to go." Ready to chew off the face. He's got the he's got like bald eagle type features. You know he's probably having affairs because he's he's think? too he's too fit. He's too, too fit. tall. Oh and yeah, he has too much power, and he's got a lot of kids. So you know he likes to fuck. Wow, that's a, actually an honest assessment. That was actually pretty decent. And his wife's not even like she's actually kind of cute. And so I'm just like, oh, so then you probably for sure fucking around because I always feel like look at fucking JFK. He Knock Jackie off. Jackie <laughs> Owen. Jackie O, is uh, that her name? Jackie, Jackie O, right? Yeah, what are you talking about Jackie O for, man? Because he was fucking around on her and she was hot. Yeah, dog. Infidelity doesn't necessarily have to do with attractiveness. You know that, right? Yeah, I do. But it just, hey, man, it just feels like, I don't know, it adds to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing about it is, is that sometimes the grass is greener. Sometimes it's, uh, but oftentimes it's a telltale is. sign. Of a cheating son of a bee is them being fit as a fiddle at a certain age. He's very fit. John you know is mean? very fit. You're keeping yourself. Hey, if I need to be on the market, <laughs> don't worry. I kept it nice and tight. Yeah. Other people who are like, shit, I'm in this for the long haul, dude. I might as well have the dad bod and get that fucking brew and that Sandler fucking spit. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do think you've got a theory there about, it's like, you often wonder about guys in their 60s that are jacked. What are you really up to? You know what I mean? Yeah, I have an uncle in Guatemala who, like, that food be taking steroids and shit like that. For real? He's so jacked. Yeah, um, they- he's always been jacked. <laughs> even how when, how yeah. much are they? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, obviously, it's crazy because you still got to put in a shit ton of work, obviously. Obviously. You know, but, but still, It's though, a fucking three-pronged system, dude. But nonetheless, though, it's like, damn, you can't reach certain potentials with the human body. Let me ask without, you this, though. steroids. If you were to be able to trade in five years of your life, uh, meaning, like, ooh. you won't live five years longer. Then I'm, I'm gonna being live. sincere. Hold on, let me finish it. Sabbath. If you got if if you could trade in five years of your life like a bad Justin Timberlake movie. Okay. And in return, you get like a really nice neck and like fucking your traps are like better than they've ever been. And like you know what I'm saying? Like you I think that there's a cost there somewhere and it's probably in your health, but maybe, I mean, is it that my point? I guess the, let me ask you the fucking question. Would you five years? Would I take steroids? Like if I would just snatch five years away from you, but you'd look the best you've ever looked. Can you tell me how long I'm going to live till? (laughs) 
Am I going to be like 80, 70, 60? Like, what are we taking it off of? You know what I mean? Am I like 85 I can't, and I'll be 80? I can't reveal the time in which you die. <laughs> but I can tell you that you're going to live five years less. I mean, I mean, imagine this, right? Think about it. Wait, I, hold on. I take that and then I die a year later because I was going to die six <laughs> years later. <laughs> That'd be the best. Like, you're like good looking for like a minute. Yeah, I know. Like, damn, Duffel got really jacked. Then he just like died. He like had a heart attack at the gym, you That's know? some cold shit. <laughs> He was like, Hate that a bitch. <laughs> Hate that a bit. That's the deal with the devil. You know what I mean? You got to pay the piper when the piper calls. Hey. Um, but I do. I uh, I will say that in the in the realm of the trade off, I probably had a moment in my life when I was younger, which I would have easily traded. Yeah, fuck yeah. But the old, I think you get a little seasoned, and you're like, mm, I ain't gonna give up. None yeah. of that. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yo, big question for you, dude. Oh, big question. shit. Now a question for me. Yeah. Well, hold the phone. Well, I'm starting to, I don't know. It's, I'm going to try to use this as a bit, but like, for, it's a legitimate question, though. All right. Oh, um, this should be cringeworthy. She's, she's a 10, but she smells like ass. Is that really a question, it's, man? Oh, but she's a 10, bro. Okay, 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 she's okay, a 10. okay. All right, just, uh, all right, all right, all right. I was right, right. trying to. trying to get away from it. And she doesn't really smell like ass the whole time. You know what I mean? But, but know this, okay? Uh, but when you're fucking her, she really sounds like ass. Though. <laughs> <laughs> like, but she's hot, bro. Like, she's super hot. Like, what's the hottest woman you've ever like? You think is a, as a celebrity right now? Who's the hottest? Yeah, right who now? do you think? Is Michael Robbie. There's a lot out. Yeah, she's gorgeous. The I mean, Gal I just Gadot can't. Chick. Who could pick one? There's just yeah, but hmm. uh, Nicki Minaj. Wow. <laughs> yeah, even uh, more exciting. She's scary looking. <laughs> but wouldn't she be fun just like on a holiday? No, Nicki I Minaj? Think, oh my God, I she'd bet be she'd the be worse. She looks but like in a such fun way. Nutcase, bro. Don't you ever want to just tart around at a disaster with you? Bro, you'd be going to a holiday for like a week and that bitch is going to take like 10 suitcases, like <laughs> at least. I would so go on a holiday with Hell Nicki Minaj. No. Are we talking serious news? I think you would probably stay home because I think she would torture you. Yeah. But then again, I think I would go because she would torture me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Over that tortured life. No, it's just like sometimes you want to be near the the actual f- source of flame. Like the hottest. Like yeah. T- she has hot takes every f- five seconds. Like she is a sound bite a second. It's amazing. She's controversial me. now at this point. Yeah, but it, I mean, it, I think all these brother. people are just competing with being controversial themselves. It's like, she by like, the way, did you those those TikTok people have a show? What TikTok people? The, I don't even know their names, but they're a TikTok people. Oh, the girls, the video yes. girls. Yes, yeah, they yes. have a, they have a show on Hulu. And how do you find it? It's, have you watched it? Uh, I watched like I think like. Oops part of the first episode Mm -hmm. is it about their dance moves (laughs) oh it's on the contrary dude oh really yeah serious stuff it's it's dealing like with all the public scrutiny that they have to deal with yo that shit is for real though it is though it is that's what's so fucking fucked up about it and then you're gonna go film it like and then put it on a fucking a a, a streaming platform it's like that yeah but (sighs) can i ask you this do you think that that should be the fair Trade That's off? the trade off. You it get this open f- format, but the criticism is like over the top. Like you said, man, you got to pay to play. You know what I mean, dude? You got to pay to play, but there are, I think, consequences to. Uh, well, there are no consequences to even the roughest comments. I think that's what's so fucked about it is it's brutally honest. It's like that. Do you remember that website? Oh, back in the day that you'd upload your photo and it would tell you if you're hot or not. No, I don't think it was. I think I was a little right after. Right and everybody would doing, rate them. No, and I was. I think it was hot or not. I swear to you, all my life. Wasn't that Mark Zuckerberg's like first thing? Supposedly, I don't know. I just remember that sort of like it felt like I was in a movie. I didn't feel That's real, crazy. but I I do remember that the internet was just cold blooded. Like cold blooded, especially when the algorithms were like so basic, right? So it's like photo, yes, no, photo, yes, no, photo, yes, no. You know what I mean? Kind of, yeah. It was kind of a well. We're living in that, right? We're living in a swipey kind of like yes, no, up or down, you know, yeah. and kind of society right. right now. Obviously, we're at the mercy. I, well, we're not even in the game, but the 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 people that are, and I think who pop like that, yeah, for the cool <laughs> videos that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of gonna, you know, I feel like that's kind of the beauty of the beautiful pendulum swinging back Yeah, where it's like, Oh, okay, cool. But 
you can also make that is your only drama. Otherwise, your life is almost perfect. Yeah. And you you have the ability to turn that off with the absolute, literally with the touch of a button. I, and it's off. I guess you can't hear it anymore. What would be like the one thing about fame and being a celebrity that you would hate to like have to deal with? I mean, I think ob- the kind of obvious one is like privacy, I guess, right? I don't know. It's kind of a double-edged sword in privacy because you can isolate yourself, but that's not the same as privacy. Mm. You know, because I, I think I heard Eddie Murphy talk about it once. And he was like, "The there's, there is a currency in having the ability to just take the subway. That's what I mean. That's there is I mean. a currency in that. And, the, and what you don't realize is the whole time that you have it, you don't look like it like it's a valuable thing. And exactly. when you don't have it anymore, suddenly it becomes valuable to right. you. But I, I think, I think the celebos right now are living in the heyday because I think you're going to find them all over the place because the masks are allowed everywhere. So everybody's benefiting from wearing masks now. Yeah, Leo took his uh his fucking disguise up to a next level because you know he's infamous for like his like hats and everything and those. Yeah, he was never giving it away. That's the fucking magic of Leo. He's just never giving it to you. No, you, you don't. You don't get it. No. He's old school. He's Jack Nicholson, bro. It's the next gen. Like you know, he's only best friends with like the top of like the creme de la creme in that Hollywood shit. You know what I mean? He's hanging out with Brad and Vince Vaughn. Speaking and- of which, I went to the Chateau Marmont recently. Oh. I mean, this is the alleged house that killed John Belushi. Yeah. Uh, there are definitely spirits of another era there, without question. But my mm. goodness, shout out to the people maintaining the spot. It is absolutely flawless how they've maintained it. It mm. looks so clean. Yeah, it's really nice. And it's all like lush and stuff. And maybe that's just maintenance and, and care. And yeah. whoever, it's really, because I've realized this in hospitality. It's only the people that really give a shit. It is. Everything else is a dump. Right. <laughs> you got to really give a shit about the spot or it turns right into a dump. Because don't rely on like your frontline employees to maintain it. Why should they? Yeah. That's not theirs. Yeah. So, I have to say, shout out to the management. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny, man. They hit my car back in the day. I'll never forget that. Shout out to hit your car. Yeah, I had ballet. a real, <laughs> I had a real piece of shit. It was oh, like no. an old '80s Ford. Okay. And white, white with like red. It was horrendous. <laughs> This car, but it was a real get around, okay. right? But it was a stick. Oh, oh God! I got it for like nothing when I first got to LA. Yeah. It was a, I stole it off some old old folks, and not literally, but like anyway, yeah. Literally, <laughs> and I remember um, valeting it there. <laughs> they must have been like, "Oh, really? You're gonna valet this turd?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yes, I am." And uh, they brought it out. <laughs> You're all chuckling. And I'm being super sincere when I say this. They opened the door for the person that I was with on the opposite. That's what they do, right? They open the passenger door and then they wrap around, land at the driver, tip, you're on your way. And I'll never forget, they open the door, a person I was with gets in, I walk back around (laughs) And he opens the door and it won't quite open. It's like been hit. Oh, so shit. so the hinge has been like busted in. Yeah, no bullshit. Oh. Yeah. And uh <laughs> it's great looking back on history now, but it was uh hilarious then and it's hilarious now. Um and not like I didn't give a shit really. I was just like, You're gonna try to hand this off to me? Damn. Because I'll tell you this, the reason why it was so funny is that it had a garage. It has a garage, sorry, the that hotel has a garage with these massive p- pillars in it. Mm-hmm. It's shocking that you would want to park your car even in there because right. the, it's for it's from a different era uh-huh. where we didn't have like Challengers and like or those big big Chevy Camaros and right. shit. So it's like it's ridiculously small. Uh-huh. If you if you you know what I'm talking about, like yeah. older places, people were smaller back right. in the day. Right, right. And so um, anyway, uh, I just remember him giving it back to me and me. This is the truth. Just took the car. Because I was like, well, what, am I going to cause a stink at the Chateau Marimont with a Ford Escort? And I, like, uh, you know. It's and a tricky situation, brother. Mm, it just made me think of that story. But anyway, the, the place is like really, it's well kept up. Yeah. And it's probably has to do with the fact that they don't really. 
let anyone there. They don't let anyone in. So well, a lot of the, their staff has been staff has been there for a long time, hasn't it? I don't know that. I don't know much about the staff. Um, uh, however, they're all they all seem cool, but like the the ones that I met. But um, it's more like uh, somebody being like. I got a. This is a. Mm -hmm. Somebody thinks it's a landmark, and it's they treat it like a landmark, right? And uh, they're just such nice little details. They still have a phone booth in there, and just it's delightful. It's like a little. It it harks back to a a a simple elegance, (laughs) if I may get fucking corny. Anyway, places conjure vibes. That's what I'm trying to say. You're worried about time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> so wait, before we get going, and because I'm going to drag this out and make you okay, late, okay, I'm going to yeah. make him late. Oh, God, no. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, oh, no. You didn't like my parking story. I saw you trying to get out of that shit. Like, this, this no, it's because I'm looking at the time. I'm like, oh, fuck. I know myself and like, you know. No, it's all good. And on that note, we'll end. Sorry, guys. True stories. No, it's great. Uh, episode 72. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. It's a short but a goodie. This guy running on the door. All right.